So w- w- one of the big things that we've forgotten is that insulin, I told you, there are two problems in diabetes. Yeah. One is you don't make enough insulin. The other is you're insulin resistant. You need to attack both problems. Uh, and the paper that I recently published, uh, which is a perspective in Lancet Diabetes Endocrinology, was to bring people back to, look, we're, we're focusing on obesity and weight loss, and we should, but we need to remember that we still have a genetic cause for the insulin resistance. You know, you go back to 1950, uh, you know, the incidence of diabetes was 2%. I, I've seen even data that says it was 1% it was, as, 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 as recent as 1970. You think, Ralph, that the the greater genetic effect is on the insulin resistance side or on the beta cell fatigue side? In other words, both. Okay. So let's tackle each. And since you started with insulin resistance, let's go there. Yeah. Um, Let's talk about what we know about the genetics of insulin resistance. I've, I've taken care of, I've taken care of a couple of patients with type two diabetes who are very lean, including one patient whose body fat by DEXA was about 8%. So for people listening, that is insanely lean. The answer to that is, it's very clear that lipodystrophy can cause diabetes, okay? This is, I would say, a very, very rare and unusual cause, but well-established. This is not diabetes. The ominous octet, my pathophysiology, that's eight problems, okay? This is muscle insulin resistance. I'm gonna do an insulin clamp now. And then I'm gonna do a muscle biopsy before I do the insulin clamp, and I'm gonna do a a muscle biopsy at the end of the insulin clamp. And what happens, okay? Well, during the insulin clamp, I know exactly how sensitive or resistant you are to insulin. I've got the most definitive phenotype in the world. 